another steam alone so okay we have another steam alone from a subscriber from uk and this one came broken uh, with the uh, wires cut as you can see right here and let's get into this thing let's find out what's going on and see if we can fix it or no oh whoa, look at this wires <laughs> the wires are cut anyways uh, all right so let's continue with the engine with thomas so if you are new to the channel welcome to the channel well, thank you for watching my videos and today we are showing uh, you how to fix and repair the steam alone model even if you think it's not possible to make it work uh, sometimes yeah we can make it work but it's really Rarely uh, you can fix it, but anyways, uh, so let's go ahead and continue here. Oh, okay, here's the circuit board and the speaker, and the only two wires: negative wire, the black one, and the red positive wire are uh, the only wires going from the tender to the model engine. Okay, so here is the next step. I'm going to cut. Uh, try to measure first the length of the wire I'm going to use and pretty close like this yeah I think that that will be good so now let's cut it with our tool and the stripping tool wire and strip the tip of the wires like that excellent and split the wires we need to split the wires because uh, it will be impossible to work with them all together anyways so now we got it figured out where the wires go or which ones are missing or whatever okay here's the negative yeah this one goes straight to the model into the front and of course we need to remove uh, these two screws to access the little cover on the, the uh, tender on the any the one holds the uh, coupler and it's broken see right here so anyway we have a replacement so now the positive is right here and the negative the ones came in from the uh, battery compartment now we identify uh, what are the problems here uh, this one is needs to be soldered see uh, the one goes to the switch and actually right here goes another positive this one right here the goes the one goes with the um, battery compartment and this other contact it's uh, the negative this one black one right here and actually it's burn you see it's burn so what I'm trying to do is I'm going to use uh, this other little piece, this one, and swap f this for this negative wires because the other one is burned. Okay, uh, let's continue. And before you go to this step, uh, please make sure you know a little bit of this tool, it's very dangerous, and I don't want you to burn your finger or uh, start a fire inside your, ho your house. So always do this uh, with the, uh, dual supervision. Okay, so we already swapped our wire, our negative wire, and I'm going to add a little bit of solder with flux. So that way it will be easy for me at the moment uh, when I'm going to solder it to the battery terminal. Cool. So I'm also going to add a little bit here it does have a little always add a fresh solder with flux so it will be a uh, very easy and you are going to have a really good contact with the batteries okay i think we are ready so also let me add here on the switch remember this one is uh need some solder too right there and now with the help of the screwdriver I'm gonna push it a little bit and do the solder from right there yeah solder it now a little bit more right there excellent okay next I'm going to connect let me see 
before we go any further and before I forget I need to add a little bit more of solder on this other end of the switch and here's where we are going to connect our positive wire coming from the batteries from the top there's one battery compartment underneath the, of the model okay let's see if this is going to be a little bit complex if if you don't have enough tools plenty tools you need some other tools to hold it but uh, anyways i'm going to show you how to do it with only your hands not really hard it's just gonna it's gonna give you a little bit of hard time but not really complicated anyways so now we continue with the negative to the battery terminal right here i hope it gets okay yeah i got it done at the first one at the first time okay now let me put the new wires where are my wires i lost them i'm going to add a little bit of solder with flux first on the negative terminal now i can put my wire right there it's not okay okay cool i think it got it no yeah it's okay all right now i'm going to my 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 wire is a little short and this one is a little skinny i'm gonna call it skinny the other one is a little chunky fat and it's not going to be good uh, to connect it all the way to the switch so i'm gonna just add uh, add it to this little part right here this is a little piece of wire uh, because the other one is stiff is it stiff or thief stiff stiff <laughs> yeah so it's uh really hard to get those uh hard wires inside of these little compartments but anyways let me do add some solder with flux and there you go so then you you don't need to have any worry about the the uh, on solder or something you know untangle it that's why you need to use some solder with flux anyways so we run the wires through this hole right here and i'm going to connect directly now that we have the soldering iron tool hot i'm going to switch swap the wires here's the negative the black and i'm going to use my black one right here okay i hope yes sometimes you need to wait uh, three or four seconds to cool down and then you can release the wire when you are soldering now the positive cool let me add a little bit of solder with flux so that way it will be easy to do the process of soldering excellent okay now i'm going to do a little test before we proceed i want to make sure it's working or no to find out what's going on i hope it works at the first time i think it's going to work anyway let's see cool it's working gearbox and electric motor are okay Can you see the light right there yes it's working it's working excellent amazing now i need to add a little bit of hot glue right here to protect the exposed wire and to keep it in place too remember also on the switch you can do the same if you have a hot glue gun and and then you can add just a little bit of hot glue it will help it keep it in place now okay here's the tricky thing these little <laughs> little rods hold this these wheels on any the front wheels <laughs> kind of uh, funny but it's really good design okay anyways uh, so let's continue so if you're fixing your model i hope this uh, video helps you a lot uh, how to fix your model don't be afraid as i always say don't be afraid to 
uh, get your hands and trying to fix uh, these models and uh, now you can learn or know how to fix them but anyways okay now uh, let's continue with the uh, five piece I'm gonna call it five piece um, coupling uh, I, I always use the little one first the skinny one and then the fat one and the wider, wider one uh, to put the wires here as you see in the demonstration now I'm gonna put this little plastic piece that holds it in place right there see the wires are hiding they are not exposed and our connector it's uh, swivels to the left and right so there is no problem it's perfectly working so so far so good so this model might be um, unoperational for maybe a long time so we are going to I'm going to show you how to make it work because it's not only to just fix it and do the rewiring you need to do a little trick uh, on your uh, water reservoir water reservoir sorry guys but you know Spanish guy trying to speak English but anyways okay same procedure uh, we do the uh, with the other part of the coupling first the little one or the skinny one and then the wider part the wider part goes underneath or heading down like this and uh, this joint I'm gonna call it joint I don't know what's the, the, the part this name name of the part anyways I'm gonna call it joint this part that put this together the joint like this and you are good to go with this part it's excellent and actually this model as you saw it in the beginning there <laughs> and I didn't explain you but there, there are some <laughs> some screws mis mixed actually I found the uh, s triangle screws on one of the triangle screws right here and the other one uh, the normal um, cross screwdriver Phillips screwdrivers so anyway screwdriver I'm sorry screw oh come on anyways so cool it's getting getting all together excellent what's next oh don't forget these screws or your model will <laughs> your shell will come off apart so these are very important uh, screws that holds the chassis to the shell or the top of the model Thomas so if you don't have this um, triangle screws you can use a very small flat head screwdriver uh, I know some uh, there are some kids that they always ask uh, where I can where can I get this uh, screwdriver so I can fix it because I there is no screwdriver um, triangle screwdrivers available so you can use a very very small um, flat head screwdriver okay anyways let's continue and our next step, I'm gonna pull it right here. I'm gonna push these wires in right there. Okay, now the wheel and this little cover right there. And we are close to get this job done. Now, remember, I told you that we need to do something about the water reservoir. Um, we're going to do this after uh, we finish with this little cover. The water reservoir, reservoir is under Thomas and this this is located right here um, probably you can see between the wheels the front and the uh, uh, the rear wheel right here on Thomas actually it's the middle wheels that is uh, where the uh, water reservoir is see those two screws right in the center of Thomas those we need to remove okay let's continue let me show you okay first uh, let me finish this part and here is the water reservoir now once we remove this we need to remove um, a little piece of, of plastic that contains uh, this one right here in the center see this one 
and this little plas uh, plastic has a kind of cotton something or fabric and it's dry so you need to add a little bit of water I'm gonna add uh, regular water don't be afraid some people say oh you need uh, distilled water or blah 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 you can use uh, drinking water any water it's okay it, it works I've been doing this for years but it's up to you you can use distilled water so I'm gonna um, put this on the water let it soak for a couple of seconds make sure it's wet and soaking wet and so that way it will it will work because this model is being uh, on you know without uh, in working order is being disabled uh, for maybe months or years and if you buy one of those models it, it will be the same a model that you're never gonna fix it um, you know okay anyway so once you put it back and it's soaked and wet we are going to do a little test and so that way I'll show you that it will work right away so after that you just need to add a little bit of water on on top of the uh, Thomas there is a hole on the side not on the funnel do not add water on the funnel because uh, it's not gonna work anyways so now let me show you Gotta move the little wheels on Thomas. Yeah, you can see the light. I'm gonna spin the wheels. Look, there's coming the steam, cool steam. It's working perfectly. Nice. So we already done with our, our model, uh, it's been fixed and this is from one of our subscribers from UK so I'm going to continue fixing and repairing these models for other subscribers during the next couple of days. As and always, thanks for watching, over and out.